let's take a new file just by clicking action script 3.0 Now we need to change the stage dimensions 640 by 480. Let's save the file. File, save. Let's name it as timer class. Hit save to save the file. Now let us create base class for this project. Click on the pencil symbol from the property panel and let's name the class as timer class. Click OK to create the action script file. We need to save the file. Go to the file, save, save all to save the, to save the files. Let's go back to the stage. We need to create one text object to display the count. Let's choose the dynamic text field and change the color. Let's embed the font now uppercase, lowercase, punctuations, numerals, click OK and now we need to drag on the stage to create a text object and let's apply the instance name to the object let's save the file Let us apply that instance name as timer.txt. Let's go back to the uh, base class. We just need to define the timer object and that must be out of the default public class. And we need to define the object using var keyword var my timer is my object name and the class type is timer and equal to new timer. We need to define the parameters for the timer object. We will come back to it later. And we need a variable to decrease or to display the countdown. I am just defining that variable name as count and data type is number. And initial value of this variable is 10. Let's go back to the public function which is by default. And now we need to create timer event before that let's assign the default count value to the text object which is timer txt we just uh, we just need to assign that variable value to the timer object timer text object since it is a number that you are supposed to convert into a string using that string method and let's assign timer event to the timer object add event listener and the event is timer 
and let's define the function name as timer update now we need to define that private function which is timer update outside of the public class timer update and the event type is timer event type is timer event now inside this function we need to place the count but before that we need to define the parameters for that my timer class one first parameter must be that delay second parameter must be that repeat count i am taking here delay is 1000 milliseconds which is 1 second and then repeat count is 10 it means that my timer repeats a piece of code for 10 times and every execution will be every execution will be for second let's go back to the timer update function and we need to decrease that we need to show that decrementation of the count variable count minus minus and then updated count value must be displayed and the text object let's go back to that text object line and then copy paste here timer txt dot text equal to string of count and then we need to start the timer we just assign that timer event to the timer object but now we need to define the start method start method to start the timer my timer dot start let's save the file and then go back to the control menu to test it we could see that the number is decreasing and it was 10 now it is decreasing towards that zero and now timer is stopped this is how the timer will help us to execute that piece of code for number of times with particular this delay with specified delay let's create another te text object to display the message once the timer is completed I'd like to show the message as timer com timer is completed let us name the text object as message txt it must be the dynamic text field which is next to the first text object let's save the file and let us go back to the base class let us add another event to the timer object which is timer complete my timer that add event listener and then event must be the timer complete and we need to define that function name for this event as uncomplete and timer complete now we need to define on timer complete as a private function out of that this default public function let's define the function private function and the function name is on timer complete event type is timer event
now we need to assign the text to the message txt text object message txt dot text equals to the message which you want to display once the timer is stopped once the timer is completed timer completed let's save all and then go back to the control to test the movie to check the updated preview of the assignment now we could see the countdown here once it is zero then it shows the message as timer complete now that my timer is starting automatically the moment when I go for preview now let's go back to the stage and let's create a button to start the timer not by default and just I'm drawing a circle let's change the color of the circle changing the stroke size to 2 pixels changing the size of the circle to 100 by 100 now let's convert this circle into a symbol and before that we need to assign a label to the button label must be a text object but that must be static text let's take one static text object and change the color of the text to white and then you type the label that which you want to apply for the button let's us let, let's align the text and the button and now when we need to select both to convert into a symbol let's convert this into a symbol as button select the type as button and name the button and hit OK to convert now that button is ready and let's apply the instance name to this button as timer start btn let's save the file and let's go back to the base class to define the event to this object and let's remove the start method from the default public class public function and now that we need to apply click event to the timer object sorry click event to the timer start button timer start btn add event listener and then type of that event must be mouse event and event is click and let's define the name and let's define a name to this function as timer start now we need to define this function out of that public class which is by default we need to define this class uh, we need to define this function as private function private timer start now private function timer start now event is mouse event now we need to assign the start method to the timer inside this function my timer dot start let's save all let's go back to that control menu and click text click test to, to, to test the file hope you see it has not started now we need to click on the button to start the timer let's click 
Now to start it. Once the timer is completed, it shows the message as timer complete. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.